Cosmo's going to crush it. Vampire Survivor Spezwick continues in episode 105. Thanks for messing around. Ready for some Vampire Survivors? This time Cosmo's going to... Well, we'll see how Max Weapons 1 does with not starting out with a weapon. Oh, the Mad Forest. Not the back button. The Mad Forest. Da, 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 da. Hmm. Let's see how it works with Silent Old Sanctuary. Where are you not moving? Okay, yeah, there we go. Those birds are firing off fast, eh? What if I could have gone down to zero weapons? Okay. I'm gonna see if I can get a pasta tongue. So, and I wanna save my rerolls for later with Serbande. Oh, that's definitely pretty dang fast. Pasta tongue is probably very, very weak. Or silver tongue, no. Sharp tongue is gonna be a very weak solo weapon, I think. Except, unless it's toasty. Uh, speed with birds? Speed with birds is good. And of course, and most importantly, Sarabande of Healing. There you are, Merchant. Alright, I could grab one of these, except I can't grab Boche, which would be what I want, because of that luck thing. Oh well. Pumrola to make it better. I do need to play somewhat defensively. Just because, well, 27 health is 27 health. On the other hand, 16 is a lot of damage. As long as I survive, I'll be able to survive. As long as I survive, I'll heal up off of anything. Just need to make sure. Hmm, Laurel. But no, I want to go for the tongue. Big old bat wave. Oh, there's the armor. Do need to hold it out for. Hold the slot open for a mini imposter. It's Kizabir. That does have potential. Hey, Phaser. Right, hollow Heart. Hmm. Doesn't add that much, but damage is not what I'm going to have a problem with for this run. It's raw survivability. Hey. Should make my way over to that Metaglio as soon as possible. Right, it's Mad Forest, not Green Acres. That means Hollow Heart was on the map and I shouldn't have grabbed it. Oh well. Yeah, the skeletons are surviving at second pulse, or a first pulse. Not for very long, but they are. Oh. There's only the one hollow heart on the map, so I can afford to have it stick around for a bit. Yep, yeah, and up to you. Yeah. Banish his science rocks. Can't get rid of too many passives. Bye bye, cross. See you later. Oh. No, I want Spellbinder. Get the birds out as long as possible. Banish the Night Sword. 
I'm no scared of no knight sword. Well, these are all on the map, so skip. Well, at least I'm going to be able to put some damage on the Atlantean while I'm waiting. Wow, it's going for a while. Just Cosmo here have... Wow, I just got taken out instantly, eh? More NFT. Not how I expected to get through this wave, but okay. Mud men are usually so much trouble. Ooh, Toronas. Ah, there's my sharp tongue. Hopefully, I can get the mini imposter right away. And then empty tome. So that needs to fire off ASAP. Doesn't require level 8, so that's good. Unlike hats and mini horse. Oh, and there you are, mini imposter. Right, get them up as soon as possible so I can get that evolution as soon as 10 minutes hit. Then hopefully grab empty tome ASAP. Up oh, Olagarian. Here it is. Thanks, Starburst. And the Atlantean is come. Probably one shots me. Yeah, 66 health. That's still less than a base character. Now, at least if anything does hurt me, it's not going to do anything for long. That's not an evolution chest, so I can grab it. Uh-oh. Lantian right in my face. Okay, good. Spinach is on the map, so that'll compensate for not grabbing Torona's box. Only a minute left. Ooh. Yeah, since Cosmo heals basically instantly, this is much better to just do a big old nuke and run. Now, I need to minimize my XP. Oh, just a bit of a graze, and yet it healed the full instantly. Power of the bird tongue, eh? Uh oh. Hey, I was lucky. Of course, it is Cosmo, so not a surprise he gets lucky. Do need to try and minimize how many levels I get. Close to the Hey, candy box. Oh, which means I probably could have gotten Vandaliers, eh? Oh, well. Come on, target the boss. I'll target the boss. Let me evolve. Let the imposter tongue soar. I think the nah, pulse is still isn't strong enough to wipe out the skeletons in a single shot, eh? Oh, there's the chest I need. And there's Imposter Tongue. And the power starts. Nope. None of these. Still none of these. Nope. There we go. Man, they're getting in. Here's the pulse being even better. Do need the area and the size increase from Silver Ring, so we'll go up there first. Okay, they won't survive two pulse, but one is still strong enough, not strong enough to wipe out the skeletons. Uh, that's usually a wave you want to. 
Now, at least with this amount of healing and defense. No, egg. Oh, egg way back. Cosmo is a snippy, speedy guy. Oh, and a cracked orb. Oh, that's what scale and luck gets you. Oh, second Atlantean toast too. Let's grab that vacuum on here. Okay, our kind of chest is back up somewhere. Oh, here's the level storm. Oh. That's uh Oh, the arrow's underneath the egg. Right, disco of gold. Egg time. Hey, more recovery on Cosmo, that's good. I probably could get this skull, I have no trouble. Ah, uh, Golden Mask also would technically work with this. 98 health, still not great, but a lot better than it was, which means I can survive a couple hits and then recover instantly. Especially with armor. Not having any greed does mean it doesn't help as much as it could. On the other hand, this is a big old nuke. Seventy point four. It's one hundred and forty per pulse. I think. Can't remember if it's doubled on the screen or not correctly. Well, either way, this chicken is gonna wipe out everything. Yep. Watch them go away. Yeah, that's another big one. Yeah, surprised I haven't got any gold fevers yet. Just all regular coins. Well, at least the tracked orb's doing a lot. To make sure it get consistent levels. Combining the powers of two NFTs. Remember how much difficulty the last one of Mad Forest had with these mummies. Well, not really, because I didn't include those failures, but there were a lot. There were so many. But now, there shouldn't be any, especially, well, look at how fast that Atlantean just went down. Oh, here we go. The Endless Death Wave. I have to make sure I accidentally don't miss a chest. I want to be as efficient as possible. There we go. And that'll recover my gold fever bar too. Or it should. Now the bus saw of healing. Hmm, multiple spinaches. Not sure I'm gonna have the speed to claim them and be efficient as possible. Alright, Pomerol's on this map too. Wow, I was really inefficient. Oh, hey, saw a stalker got hit by it. He just shrinks back down because he doesn't care. It hits so hard right now with, you know, 84 recovery, almost more recovery than health. Alright, 
Uh oh. Now it's gonna be a bit dicier. Not that much dicier, but I'll actually see black on the health bar. Yeah, it figures. Yep, should have known that was coming, but nice easy wave flower power. Yep, Arcana. Not even sure what I'd get, but uh, da -da -da -da. Mm. I mean that's probably not gonna be used, but it's funny to have six revives, so why not? Might actually be able to get a full cycle off, eh? Only four seventy five. Not even that, four seventy four. That was a really bad gold rush. Yeah, going so so defensive means that the tongue isn't as doing as much as it could. Sure wrecks the big boss stuff though. But yeah, putting on duplicator. And probably Tronus Box or Candelabra to War over the two hearts would have been probably the much. Sm not probably, definitely would have been the much smarter idea. Not like I died. Yep, looks like I may actually get a full loop off. That's pretty rare on this setting. In fact, I think it's Lee the first time I've done it. I don't even think I managed that on Smith or Toasty. Well, no, a couple of Mount Moon spells have made it. And Polis Replicas as well. But in like one of the first five maps, this is one of the only times I've done it. Almost there. Five minutes should be more than enough time to grab them both. Yep, here it is. And of course I don't grab it. Here we go. That lanting went down ASAP, eh? No need to grab that since I'm just going to go straight for luck. Ooh. I need to slow down a bit. They're not durable compared to what I have, but it takes me a while to get my power off. And there's a lot of them on screen too. That bird tungu. Well, that's what I got the old revive for. Yeah. Yeah, let's pop a couple of them just to be funny. Not oh, well, this happened, so. Not likely to fall. Oh, unless the gold doesn't come in fast enough. No, there's only so many times it can stick out. Okay. Probably getting rid of Spellbinder doesn't help much. And what would I put in its place? Well, Candle Labrador, Duplicator, Toronas Box, all good options. Almost to the first one. And luck up. More luck up. Big old bat wave. Well, more like small bat wave. But a lot of small bat waves. And just level me up like mad with your delicious red gems. Actually, I should stop moving. Don't you just love how strong Cosmo is? Yeah, sure, another weapon would have had more trouble, but it's not like I can get rid of all weapons. 
that. And let's see, what weapon would scale with the healing? Uh, well, I got three whips and the garlic. Uh, soul stuff as well. Hey, I was just about to get a clover, how dare you. I said, how dare you. Well, if that's how you're going to be, yeah, 2.3 billion damage on the Imposta Tongue because of that scale and healing. Pretty nuts. Heck, with 4. million damage. Entirely possible that it could have taken out death if I had a free, consistent freeze. Only 21 million. Heck, even the birds didn't do too, too bad. Just not going to keep up with Cosmo Imposta Tongue. Well, that's the first of Cosmo's victories. Most inlaid of libraries. No. Oh. oh, right. This will happen. Uh, da, 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 da. I could go sharp tongue again, but no, I'm roll up for sure. Baddy bat bat bat. Hmm, silver wind. Yes, I will go Silver Wind. I was planning on going Petting Zoo, but Silver Wind works better with Cosmo, and there are other characters that can do it as well. Alrighty. That means I want Size. Crown. Da 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 da. Empty Tome is on the map, Tornus Box is not. Spinach. Serpande. That yeah, maximum healing all. Level up first and fast. Uh oh, duplicator. Duplicator isn't actually all that useful with this setup. Probably want armor. Yep, definitely armor. Just need that extra bit of survivability. Tome is on the map. Nope, oh, I have enough to just walk into the dust waves and wipe them out with the Serbanda healing. Probably should grab area. Silver wind. Ah. Well, now we got some NFT to go in. Not in scam form this time. Alright, since it's in sort of a lull, thanks for watching. Got anything you want me to build towards? You can leave it in the comments below. If you're enjoying the series, I'd appreciate a like. Thanks for anyone that does. If you don't like it, please leave a dislike. And even a comment if you don't. You know, people want any engagement they can get. Because the algorithm is a silly thing. I've also got some other things to look at. A full playthrough of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Well, mostly. Skipped a lot of stuff at the end just because I was tired. I wanted to see that ending. See if the ending is the ending. Had some difficulties with it. As you've no doubt seen plenty through this series. Hopefully seen plenty of at least. Da, 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 da. Still no armor, eh? There we go. Now get the emptiest of tomes. I wanted to go petting zoo, grab both birds, and then I could get them down to Vandalier with a candy box, which is inevitable with Cosmo. Oh. Dang, I was hoping for too far away.
imp right in my face. Always in my face. Nope, definitely need to wake now. Oh. That was a nuke. Actually, I need empty tome. Hmm. Also now that I think about it, festive winds a big AoE as well as the paranormal scanner would be the best way. Cause that'll eventually just keep scaling you. The paranormal scanner. You want something big to hit the whole map. And festive winds makes everything weaker. Make sure you do more damage. You need damage. Well, I'll make sure the Atlantean is down. No, oh, no, stalker. Do I have a revive? I have an additional revive. I, I gotta beat feet, it would seem. Can't let Stalker catch up to me. Nope. Dang Piani. Nope, oh, there's that silver ring right down here. Now I just thread it. Alright, good. You can want some chicken. And Stalker gets me because it's a blur. Oh, Festive wins at seven minutes. What? Oh, because Stalker went away. Well, I definitely need my health up first now. And they both go down instantly because Festive Winds is very strong. Uh oh, some got through. Alright, need to grab a wake first. Bit too dicey with Stalker still possibly showing up at any time. It means I really shouldn't have taken my hands off the controller at the end of Mad Forest, but... Well, even Stalker wasn't going to be beaming through that many... Lives. Nope, almost got Toronto's box maxed out. Oh hey, let's get all the chicken. They're more useful offensively than not. Well, probably should have held off on that till I got the Arcana chest at least, but even then with festive winds, not a lot to can do. Now, whole lines of them just getting toasted instantly. Clover back there. There you are, Kana back. Give me your sweet, delicious chest.
Okay, time to play video game again. Taylor left in. But we're going to the right in. Right in. Oh god, I remembered the parrot! Hey, wait, why is the game in the middle of a session? Okay, this is weird. Cosmo, I got festive winds. Pomerola makes sense. Can Labrador. Uh, looks like I've already cleared the left. Got empty tome. Stone mask. Am I getting disco of gold? Three revives. Where are my arcanas? Wake. Three. I die? How'd I die on Cosmo? Well, okay. Well, that was a whole lot of stuff. He yeah, has 16 minutes. How did that happen? Hey, yeah, a candy box. Huh. I wonder why I didn't go for one of the birds. And the candy box would have been inevitable with Cosmo. Could have gone pet shop. Oh well, enough thinking about birds. Let's think about more birds. Like a little flight of wings and death. How fast are you gonna live? Nope. That was just the completely wrong nomenclature. How fast are you gonna die? How long are you gonna live? Those are the words to say. Ah, crab battle. Always nice to see a crab battle. I will defend the crab battle to my dying days. The dyingest of days. Possibly even the darkest days, if something's still worth fighting for. Oh, right. Oh, level up storm. And by Atlantean, so nothing else is going to remotely come close. And I can probably just stay still and enjoy the victory. 19 minutes. Phew. Nice to have a couple characters in a row that have no trouble. wonder what took old Cosmo out, though. Not a lot should. Maybe I ran into an Atlantean or something. Well, I mean, it must have been me playing. No one else would. wonder what happened. I mean, is this the first or the second stage? Uh, who did I play last later? 
Yes, this would be the second stage. Hmm. I wonder if I have the recording for that. I'm going to have to check once I beat this. Huh, well, since I don't know what's going on, thanks for watching. Maybe you could comment what happened. I don't know. I guess I could watch the footage as well. That would be like effort. On the other hand, if I can't watch my own videos, how do I expect you to watch them? Yep, that means I probably need to buff up the audio, don't I? I mean, it sounds fine when I play it with the headphones, but it might not be fine when I play it on the TV. Well, a full-on mic is something I am planning on with stand and even a mixer because Doki Bird recommends one. And who am I to go against Doki Bird? There's really no point to any of this. It isn't one of them power up festive winds. Yeah, by the recommend. That'll just work. Oh, that's lagging the game a bit. Huh. So yeah, plans for future stuff are, you know, getting a full mic stand and a mixer. So that way the audio can maybe finally be okay. And then I won't have to use the headset. But the mic is going to be annoying just through the way I think set up. I can't touch the keyboard right now. Oh, at the very least that means I won't have well, better audio. Oh well. It is what it is. I was just desperately trying to get experience before I did anything. I mean, I could technically just sync the channel and try and like re-debut or something, but... Once I get all the necessary equipment... But hey, failure is a part of life. It's a very big part of my life. In fact, it is the only thing that happens in my life. It's one long, endless road of failure. Well, I'm actually lagging with this. How's that happening? But hey, those of you who are liking, commenting, subscribing, you're making me slightly less of a failure. So thanks for all that. Thanks for any support. Anything, any build-wise you want to see? Comments are open for you. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. We got some Final Fantasy Rebirth, starting some Unicorn Overlord. See of Stars is going to end soon. Eventually, one day, when I get less lazy, I'll transfer over my PAL World Holocure videos to the new PC and actually publish those. In the PAL World shorts were my most popular. So hopefully that gets a view. On the other hand, the iron is very cold until the raid comes out, so who knows. And, you know, future stuff. I used in Chronicles, Elden Ring DLC, Starship Troopers Extermination, Patch Reset, Class Rewipe, Grass Reset, Final Fantasy 16 DLC. You know, two days after a game I've been waiting almost 20 years to come out. And Spirit. Though it's only been in operation for, well, Slightly longer than that. <laughs> God, I... I mean, the director died. I'm surprised he didn't delay it because of that. Uh, and Akira Toriyama 2. And so much terrible VTuber drama. I don't even keep up with VTubers that much. It's still so bad. I don't want bad things to happen. Who wants bad things to happen? 
Well, I mean, I'm fine with bad things happening to me, because I deserve it, but a lot of them are good people. Why do bad things happen to good people? I'm a bad person. I deserve bad things. Yeah, Festive Winds is so good. Anyway, that's Cosmo Pavone. Pavone and done. 58 million on the Festive Winds, not remotely as much as some other weapons I've gone through. I wonder what the score screen for the first one is. I wonder if that's the one I did Petting Zoo on, and that's why I went Festive Winds now. Well, I'll have to look for that later. Thanks for watching. The best check off is now.